Salut, c'est Géraldine, bienvenue sur Comic Française TV, Sound French, even to the French. Today, following the great response we had from the books episode, I thought I would do the same with music. But instead of telling you, listen to this, listen to that, I will give you clues on what Chanson Française is, where to listen to it so you can find your own taste, and at the end of the episode, I will share with you artists I love. Please excuse me if I can't give you extract of the songs, but for copyright reasons, I can't. YouTube would take down this video if I did. You will find all the links to all the artists on the blog below the video. Also a warning before we start, I'm not going to cover Edith Piaf and Charles Trenet here today. Why? Because they're oversold as the French singers abroad, but not much talked about here. We all know them, we all know their major songs, but that's it. So I'm not going to talk about here. La chanson française. First, la chanson française in France is seen as a particular style. It even has its own Wikipedia page, which I recommend you explore. You will find the link on the blog below the video. In la chanson française, lyrics are as important as music. It's a bit like poetry with music. This is why you will hear French singers who don't have an opera voice at all, like Serge Gainsbourg, being very famous. The music style is not related to la chanson française, it's more really about the writing. Specific French vocabulary. Le tube de l'été. Le tube de l'été. This is a summer hit, usually really bad, with around 20 to 30 words of vocabulary. Le tube de l'été. Un chanteur à texte and un chanteur à voix. Un chanteur à texte and un chanteur à voix. This is the distinction people make between singers who focus on the text and those who focus on singing and the sound of their voice. Auteur, compositeur, interprète. Auteur, compositeur, interprète. This is what we say of people who write their text, compose the music and sing the song. La chanson engagée. La chanson engagée. Oh, this is so French. It's a song with a message to support or denounce something. La chanson engagée. PV Nova made two great clips as jokes about two types of French songs. I love this. Uh, la chanson franchouillarde. La chanson franchouillarde, which sounds like really French songs. And la chanson engagée, which we just talked about. La chanson engagée, with a message. Where to listen to it? On the radio. Thanks to the wonders of internet, you can listen to it online. Where? Here are four radios where you can listen to French songs. Nostalgie. Nostalgie is mainly classics of the 70s and 60s. Nostalgie. We also have Chéri FM. Chéri FM is about love songs. I recommend especially Chéri Frenchie that you can listen to online only and it's only French songs. Chante France, Chante France, and we also have MFM for more French songs. All these are really good. Listen to those online, they also have apps for your smartphone, and if you're in France, of course, turn on the radio. For live music, check out Les Festivals, Les Festivals, all summer in France. They're everywhere and you, they will give you a taste of what French music is and will give you all the French music you could ever want. Also, if you want more, look for Chanson Française, Chanson Française on Google, on Deezer, and on YouTube, of course. The basics. Even though I said I wouldn't talk about Edith Piaf and Charles Trenet, there are some basics I couldn't not cover. The most obvious ones in France are les trois B. Les trois B. Brel, Brassens et Barbara. Les trois B. Literally the three Bs. Jacques Brel, Jacques Brel, Georges Brassens, Georges Brassens and Barbara. Barbara. These guys are from the 70s. If you want to listen to French classics that French people still hold dear, listen to these guys. Also add uh, Léo Ferré, Léo Ferré, Serge Gainsbourg and Renaud as well. And you master the basics of Chanson Française. These guys have a cult status in France, it's very important, and many festivals are dedicated to their music. And my brother who helped me build this episode would denounce me to the police if I didn't mention Jean-Jacques Goldman, Jean-Jacques Goldman, Michel Berger, Francis Cabrel and Alain Souchon. 
We are both big fans of those guys and that's why it's so hard to make such episode because people will automatically say what you didn't talk about my favorite singer how could you do that? You see what I mean? What I like this is taking me out of my comfort zone and I will share what I listen to and I really don't usually like to do that it's very personal I'm very 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 much into lyrics so this won't be easy to understand but really worth studying if you're looking for a challenge First, I wanted to talk about Juliette, Juliette Noureddin, Juliette, she's one of my heroes. I love her songs, the lyrics are awesome, the music is wonderful and she has a great voice. And also she's great in concerts, that's for Juliette. Aldebert, Aldebert is awesome as well, his songs are way lighter and very very entertaining. He's awesome on stage as well. He recently wrote two albums for children, so if you want to listen to French music with your little ones, Go on, listen to Aldebert. Again, I'm very, very into lyrics, so rap can get very close to my heart. In the last years, I discovered a few rappers that I love. First, Oxmo Puccino is hard to classify. It's rap, but with a lot of music. He often invites famous musicians on his albums, like violin or cello players. That's Oxmo Puccino. Recently, The Young. Okay, they're almost kids. The Big Flo and Oli are brand new to the landscape, they're really good, they're cute and their writing is impressive, so I recommend you check them out. They're very different with, from what's done outside. The next two I will recommend are for advanced learners only and Frenchies. As I don't recommend to, you listen to them if you don't fully understand the lyrics, also taken out of the full context, it would be highly inappropriate. It requires your full attention, so check them only if you're advanced or very advanced. I love Aurel San, he's one of the best French lyricists I think, recently he made an album as Les Casseurs Flotteurs with a friend of his, which I can't stop listening to, that's Aurel San, he's really good. Yusufa as well, he's, he's last on the list, but just as Aurel San, he's an incredible lyricist, he writes very very well and I'm a big fan of his. If you want great French writing, check this out. You may not like it, but at least I took you out of the French music cliches and away from all this accordion. You will find links about all the artists on the blog below the video. Et toi, what do you listen to in French? Who are your favorite singers? Which are your favorite songs? Share your favorites in the comments below and it will be the perfect opportunity to discover new French artists. Share your experience in French if you dare in the comments below. We can all learn from your story. The comment section is the best place to store discussions and ask questions. If you like this video, share it with your friends on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest. Help me spread the word about Commune Française. Merci. Love friends, dream of sounding French even to the French. Learn how with me, Géraldine, on communefrances.com and subscribe to my email updates for exclusive tips on real life in France every Tuesday, plus an exclusive video lesson, Introduce Yourself in French. And it's free. Merci for watching Commune Française TV, sound French even to the French. Allez, salut!